You have just read the realistic fiction story, Louise Loves Art. And in this book, there were the characters Louise and her little brother Art. And you may have noticed at the end of the story, which I hope you did, Art makes a very interesting piece of art using Louise's original artwork. Today, I'm going to show you how you can make paper people connected just like Art did in our story. Now, once you've made this, then I want you to decorate them to look like the members in your family. Because remember, this week we're talking about families. We're talking about how families are alike and how families are different. Louise and Art were part of a family, all right? And they loved each other, even though sometimes they may do things that we wouldn't want them to do, like Art cut up Louise's art piece, right? But she was forgiving and kind and recognized that he had made a great piece of art. You're going to get to make this today, and then you can decorate it like the members of your family. I'm going to walk you through the process of how to make paper people. Here we go. The supplies you're going to need for today's art project are one piece of white paper, just regular printer paper, a pair of scissors, and when you're all finished, you'll need some crayons, colored pencils, markers, something to decorate your paper people with, okay? First, you're going to take your piece of paper and you're going to fold it in half the long way. Sometimes we call this way the hot dog way, right? So we're not folding it short so it's fat, we're actually folding it long. So you'll fold it in half the long way, just like that. Then you're going to go ahead and you can leave it connected here or you can cut it. This will make your paper people. I'm going to leave mine connected because in that way I'll have two sets of paper people when my project is finished, okay? Now, I folded my paper in half the long way. Now, I'm going to take this folded piece of paper and I'm going to fold it in half once, like that, and twice. Okay, so I'm gonna show you again. Here is my long fold. I fold it in half, and then I fold it in half again, just like that. When you unfold it, you should see that you have one, two, three, four rectangles, the folds across your paper. Now this next part's a little bit tricky, so watch very closely what I do and get someone to help you in your family if you need a little bit of help. I'm going to take the fold and I'm going to go every other, so I go fold it this way, fold it back, and then I curve it back again. So it's kind of like a pattern. Let me show you again, ready? I take the first fold and I fold it like that. Then I fold the other one going the opposite direction and then the last one going the opposite of that fold. So they're folded like that. I'll show you one more time because that's tricky. It's kind of like a zigzag. So here they are. I folded them and I'm gonna go fold this way, fold back, fold that way just folding it opposites, okay? Now, we're going to need a pencil to draw out our people or a person. If you just want to cut without drawing, that's great. But Mrs. Lanier wants to draw so that I'm sure I am cutting it in the right places. Now, when your paper is folded, you're going to draw a person. I'm going to start by looking down toward the bottom of my paper. I'm gonna put a little dot. Why don't you do this with me? So here it's folded and I'm going down to the bottom of the paper. I'm going to make a triangle that goes all the way to the bottom of the paper and it comes off just like that. Then in the corners, this corner and this corner, I'm going to go straight up just like that and do the same over here from this corner. Go straight up above where that dot was. Those are going to be the legs, okay? Now I'm gonna give this person a, a small body, so I'm gonna make some lines just like that. Now remember, you can stop this video and replay it or pause it if I'm going too quickly for you, okay? So we've made our triangle and we've come from the corner up and given it a little body. Now I'm going to draw straight lines out all the way to the edge. These are the arms, okay? And then I'm gonna draw the top of the arm right there. 
that's what your arms should look like, okay? Coming straight out. And then we're going to draw a giant circle right above those arms for the head. That is our body. That's all it takes. That's all you need to draw, just like that. Now, I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut out these pieces that I have drawn. And those are pieces that I'm just going to throw away. Okay, so then I'll follow the leg lines that I drew all the way up, staying on these lines and cutting all the way out to the edge, just like that. I cut in. Cut around the head, keeping it folded together. Remember, I'm cutting this while it's still folded. I'm just cutting out the extra pieces. And then follow the legs straight down. Now those are all extra pieces. So after I'm done cutting it, I should have this. Now I should have two separate people hooked together. Are you ready to see this? When I unfold it, I have one set of paper people hooked together and a second set of paper people hooked together. Because remember, I left mine folded and attached at the beginning. If you cut yours at the beginning, you'll just have one set of paper people hooked together. Now, this is your opportunity to decorate these like the members of your family. If you have more than four family members, then you might want to take that extra set and maybe you could attach it on with a little bit of tape. Then you'll have a really long line of paper people. Or another thing you could do is you could decorate this side of each of the paper people and then you could turn it over and decorate the back as someone else in your family. Then you'd have four family members on this side and some of your family members on this side. It's up to you. But I want you, when you're finished decorating your paper people, to take a picture and submit it to me in Seesaw.